Guten Morgen and welcome to Art Day. Today I'm having a nerdy painting again. Um, it so happens that uh, I'm adding another pen and paper game um, that I'm gonna play and it's Death Watch, uh, which happens to be in the Warhammer 40k um, universe. And I chose my marine to play with and of course when I play pen and papers you've you have seen that uh, with other paintings this year uh, that I did for my DSA characters I do well have a little book where I uh, where I uh, write down everything that happens in a mission and yada 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 um, I'm, I'm having a character uh, painting that I'm adding to that said notebook and of course I had to do so for my Devastator Space Marine from the Blood Angels as well and um, this is pr pretty much my character that I'm painting here. He's called Leonatos and uh, well he's gonna go on missions with me and other characters very very soon. But uh, I uh, started by, first of all, looking at artwork uh, that um, already exists from uh, Games Workshop. So that's the uh, publisher of Warhammer 40k. And uh, then I chose one that I liked and uh, changed it up to be my blood angel here so of course I'm using red because well that is the color of the original fraction though uh, Leonatos will be part of the death watch and will get uh, parts of his armor removed and have black armor there I made him way more red than he's supposed to be because I just wanted a little more contrast and um, uh, well, a bit more of his original uh, fraction visible than uh, would usually be visible. Um, there would be way more black uh, on his armor and his suit. But yeah, black is not very contrasty when you put it next to black, you know? So a lot of red in my painting there. Uh, I worked with the Karen Dash Neo Colors on watercolor paper because I can really, really um, control the color a lot. So the flow of the watercolor. I didn't want this to be a very loose painting. I wanted it to look watercolory, but also almost like a cartoon style. So I could have very well also gone with markers for um, my character picture, but I don't have that many red markers, uh, at least alcohol markers, which I would prefer for a painting like that or a picture like that. So I went with the Karen Dash watercolors and uh, just had him, well, colored that way or painted that way. I did um, change a few things on the reference picture that I took and then transferred that picture with all of the changes that I made to uh, my watercolor paper with yellow graphite paper. I can not recommend that enough. Um, I really like to work that way when it comes to watercolor paper because with erasing lines and stuff you really damage the Oh, you can easily damage the uh, texture of the paper and it then shows once you're done painting color just acts a little differently on certain bits where you maybe have erased a lot and I'm not a big fan of that so um, I used black um, graphite paper before and I didn't really like the black because then you automatically had to outline everything with black ink just to, well, incorporate those graphite lines into your painting. And I'm not a huge fan of that. But I discovered yellow um, 
graphite paper. It's a little more pricey and you don't get it in big packs, but that's fine. I really like to use it to transfer my uh, sketches and paintings and such line work to the watercolor paper and then go all over the stuff with, well, whatever watercolor medium I'm using. And for depending on what colors you're using, and you're gonna see that in the next video that I'm gonna publish, you might have to work a little harder to get rid of the yellow, but all in all, it's way more integrating into the watercolor and looking nice than it would with black uh, graphite lines. Also, they smudge a little less. So there's quite a few advantages to using yellow um, uh, graphite paper. Um, I Yeah, I, I don't know why I haven't discovered that earlier, um, but well, I uh, discovered it now and I like to use it a lot when it, like I said, comes to watercolor painting. I do uh, prep my line works and such and design my paintings with uh, my Wacom tablet, uh, like digitally anyways. So having them, I'm always transferring uh, the uh, line work that uh, I do. I don't draw on watercolor paper anymore. I used to do that years ago, but it's really been years since I drew my outlines and such on watercolor paper. Um, I'm not doing that anymore. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely tool, I have to say. And I'm just going around the painting bits by bits by bits, um, checking my, uh, reference photo on where I want to put what shade of gray, like where the darks are, uh, where the lights are. Um, and I'm pretty much only gonna go with one layer of painting. It, like I said, it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of close to cartoon style, so where you don't have a lot of shading, but you, um, like the classic old school, um, cartoons got style where you have the line work where you have a light color a dark color that's that not a lot of um, different shades in between and I'm kind of working that way with this particular painting because there's very many details in there and I think they would get a little lost would I have really very heavily shaded everything? It would have been looking maybe a little too busy on that size of paper with that medium. I would have shaded and worked very differently would I have used markers or colored pencils. But with the watercolor and then the ink lines that will follow uh, at the end when um, everything is colored in and I, I, I dried off the painting, um, it, it just really works very differently. It looks differently. Um, it might seem a little flat to you, but like I said, I went for that style on purpose um, to, well, also separate him from like uh, my other character uh, pictures that I made for um, DSA because it's a totally different kind of universe and um, so I'm changing up my uh, supplies and also the way uh, what the style I paint in um, yeah, that was the reason behind it. And since there's so many uh, tiny little bits and pieces on that armor that he's wearing, I think um, having it shaded and like have three colors per bit of armor would have been too much. It would maybe have been looking a little too busy because you can only uh, shade and work 
that much on these very small kinds of pictures with watercolor. Like I said, same size, but different kind of medium. That's a whole different kind of story. I am uh, I would have worked very differently, but with the watercolors here, I think um, it, uh, it went well enough, or I really like it actually, to only have one layer of paint down. Uh, the advantage of watercolor is that it kind of looks blotchy anyways, that comes with the supply, with the medium. So I'm using that sort of to my advantage when it comes to having little uneven bits of shade of a certain color on a part of the painting. So I think that's pretty much how I remedied the not really shading um, kind of stuff part words huh, in uh, my painting here. So last thing that I'm painting in pretty much is the boulder. Uh, that's a lovely weapon. Well, I'm adding a little more yellow on the eyes and such. But I dried it off with my um, blow dryer. Uh, I did cut that part because it's just, frankly, boring to watch. And then I went uh, over everything with a very thin permanent black marker. And I used kind of like the sketchy kind of line work. So uh, I didn't just outline everything very smoothly, but I squiggled back and forth. As you can see, my hand is like shaking a lot because, well, that video sped up because this painting took me a couple of hours. Um, but uh, I'm using a very rough outline, very sketchy, very squiggly. And uh, I think for one, it adds a little bit of... Um, to the painting so it's not as confined as straight but it's there's almost movement in the line work uh, that I do just like with the way I move my pen and uh, I think that's added a little bit of character to the um, to the painting made it a little more alive and well What's the word? I don't even remember it in German. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm having an, an, an um, blah. Yeah, and I can't talk. I'm having MS brain today, it seems. Just like pretty much every day, I, I think. I, I feel like in every video I say, oh, God, I have MS brain. I really uh, have to... Uh, do some therapy or something, some exercises to um, not lose my words or forget words. I uh, gotta write that down and remember. Um, but yeah, um, coming back to the painting, I'm just going all around that uh, color painting here, outlining things um, that way, adding contrast, um, adding a little bit of definition and detail to the painting and bringing my character to life. I think Leonatos looked kind of flat beforehand, but now with the outlines, you, you can see it really makes a difference, uh, even though I didn't really shade uh, my, my uh, marine here. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a lovely little trick. Um, depending on what kind of object you're drawing or painting, it might work a little better or maybe not. But um, for these cartoon style kind of uh, illustrations, I think uh, it works well. And uh, he looks really nice in my mission book. So um, I was very happy about the outcome of that particular uh, marine. And uh, that pretty much uh, is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun and maybe got an idea or were inspired. 
by uh, looking at what I did in the studio. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm trying to get back to you answering as fast as possible. Sometimes I, it just takes week because life is cra crazy with me, but I'm really trying to get back to you as quickly as I can. And uh, the blog post is up uh, at 10 a.m. Central European time, so you can read up on the specific colors that I used for Leonatos and uh, yeah, all that information <laughs> in case you really like the color combo and want to try it for a painting of yours uh, or like a sketch or maybe a coloring book, whatever you are working on. But thanks again. If you're new to the channel for one, welcome. Uh, peruse the channel, uh, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up to see uh, or to tell me, well, you're on the right way. This was something that I was really interested in. So um, yeah, that's communication and such <laughs> so take good care guys uh have a lovely week do some artwork enjoy yourselves be creative in any way you can and uh yeah just enjoy the week have a lovely one i'm gonna see you in two weeks with a new painting take good care bye